It's the end of football as we know it. Football is over. We're all going to die. Football, football is dead. My heart is dead. My heart is dead. Stop. Drama aside, what does the European Super League actually mean for the Premier League? So firstly, what actually is the European Super League? In simple terms, it's a league-style Champions League. 20 teams will be split into two leagues, where each group will play a home and away leg to confirm the final league positions. The top three teams of the two mini-leagues will progress to a usual knockout stage, with the fourth and fifth teams in each group earning the final two spots through playoffs. The final eight teams will then compete in a regular Champions League style quarterfinals, semi-finals and final. Get it? Pretty simple really. So who's already involved? So far, only the 12 founding teams of the new league have been announced, with nearly every football fan knowing that this includes the Premier League Big Six, Liverpool, Man United, Chelsea, Man City, Tottenham and Arsenal, along with Spanish sides Barcelona, Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid, plus Juventus, AC Milan and Inter Milan from Serie A in Italy. Three other clubs are reported to be joining the league soon, creating 15 founding team members. These teams will be locked in the league with no threat of relegation. Sides such as Bayern Munich, RB Leipzig and Borussia Dortmund from Germany are being suggested. So, what about the Premier League? Well, the Premier League has already condemned the new Super League, saying that it attacks the principles of open competition and sporting merit, which are at the heart of the domestic and European football pyramid. The new league's official website claims that it will coexist with the current domestic leagues. However, according to the Premier League rules, all top six teams will have to quit England's top flight in order to join the new Super League. Rule L9 of the Premier League states that a team cannot join a competition outside of the generic football competitions without prior written consent from the Premier League board. And with the Premier League revealing their stance on the new league, the chances of the green light being given look slim, leaving the big six with two options leave the Premier League or quit the Super League. So what about other competitions? Just like the Premier League, UEFA has also voiced its own views on the matter, claiming that we will consider all measures available to us at all levels, both judicial and sporting, in order to prevent this happening. And maybe the biggest blow to the Super League hopes, FIFA have announced that any player involved in the new league will be banned from all FIFA-run competitions, aka the World Cup. So, as the world reacts to the news, the only question really left is, will players pick the European Super League or the World Cup?